13 years old and unloved, 16 and unwanted, 19 and abused. Now they have found their place in life at the children's home in Catonsville. It's like they erased the canvas of their previous life to show a picture of hope. It don't matter what you got, how you look, you beautiful, evil. You won't find any Van Goghs or Rembrandts in this room, but you will find art on a highway speeding to an exit of broken hearts. I'm not as mean. I used to be really mean and not nice because people wasn't nice to me, so I wasn't nice to people. Their stories are enough to get you out of your chair, to lean over a wastebasket, to empty your stomach. With a paintbrush, they don't have to really speak. The, the brush does the speaking for them. Through artwork, they're able to tell the abuser who put them in this emotional hell how they are doing. Mainly, I just want them to know that uh, this has actually made me better. You know, I'm, I'm going to a good school. And, you know, it's, since I got here, it's been a little bit easier to make friends than it has been in the past. This is just a minor step back for a major comeback. Wow. A minor setback to a major comeback. And tears that once strolled down this pillow have grown into a tree, leading to a sunrise to a brighter tomorrow. And all of the artwork that you saw and many more pieces will be auctioned at the benefit called Faces. Yeah, this is a big event that they put on every year. And it's going to be held Friday night, October the 27th at M&T Bank Stadium. And all the money will go to help the hurt of these children at the children's home.